Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to ask this serious question again. And I ask myself and ask you, why do we waste our valuable time? Why waste our time? Why waste this gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had gifted us? Why waste this beautiful na'mah and bounty upon us? Because we find time so cheap in our life and we live day to day and we find ourselves that we think that we are living forever. We see that time is worthless. We see time that does not have value. By Allah, if we knew the reality of this time, if we knew the value of this time, if we knew the value of this time that we waste, if we could buy it with gold, we'll buy it with gold. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He made a promise by the time where He says, Well, us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the promise by the time for us to realize the significance of this time. And Allah says, insana lafi khusr. Every single human being is a loser. Every single human being is a loser in that time. Regardless how powerful they are, rich they are, influential they are, they are all losers. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْا بِالصَّبْتِ Except those who believe in Allah, do the righteous deeds, call for which is truth, and have patience. Time, my brothers and sisters, time. So why do you waste this valuable time that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, نِعْمَتَانِ مَغْبُونٌ بِهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ الصَّحَّةُ وَالْفَرَاقِ There are two bounties from the many, many bounties that Allah Azza wa Jal had created for us. There are two na'mah, two bounties upon us that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, many, mankind and many people are deceived and cheated with. Human beings are cheated with. They do not take advantage of it. What are those two na'ma? What are those two bounties? It is your health and your time. Your health is a great na'ma from Allah Azza wa Jal. And the time that you have, the time that you have on your hands is a great na'ma of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We waste our time. We waste our time with many foolish things in life. We waste our time on TV and we waste our time in social gatherings and we waste our time in unbeneficial gatherings and we waste our times in haram and time by time and day by day is going past of our lives as Hassan al-Basri Allah Ta'ala Anhu, he says, O the son of Adam, you are made out of days. So when days go past your life, some of it is gone. Some of it is gone. We are made out of days. So the more we neglect those days, the more we neglect of our lives. Because at the end of the day, Allah will ask us about the time. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will ask us about this time. What did we do in this time? What, we, what did we do in this time? What did we utilize this time for? What did we use this time for? What reason? This hour and this minute and this second that Allah Azza wa had given us. What did you use it for? What did you occupy your time with? That's why the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس. Take advantage of five before five. And then the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he says, وفراغك قبل شغلك. And occupy, occupy your time. Take advantage of your time before you get occupied. Occupy it with good things, with beneficial things. A Muslim, a believer occupies their time with what pleases Allah azza wa jal. This is the believer. The believer's time is always occupied with a benefit. The believer's time is always occupied with the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The believer's time is always occupied with what gets him closer to Allah azza wa jal, or what benefits him in this dunya, or what makes him a benefit to others. This is the believer's time. A believer does not believe in the concept of wasting time. This is not for the believer. The believer doesn't have time to waste because it's only a short life. It's only a short moment in this world. And then later on we are standing in front of Allah azza wa jal. That's why the scholars say, they say, a dunya this world is only an hour. This world is only an hour. Make the use of it and make it a worship. This dunya is only, is, is only an hour, so short, so quick. So take advantage of it and use it for the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when we stand in front of Allah azza wa jal in the hereafter, the only thing that we wish for when we stand in front of Allah is that Allah gives us that five minutes. That five minutes, that this five minutes meant nothing to us in this dunya, in this world. We wish that Allah gives us five minutes. Five minutes just to worship Allah in it. When we stand in front of Allah in the hereafter and we see that terrifying and horrifying scene in the hereafter and the day of judgment, we wish that we'll get one minute in this dunya that we could ask Allah Azza wa to forgive us. That one minute could determine between you entering the paradise and the hellfire if you had that one minute before then to repent to Allah Azza wa Jal, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness, to ask Allah Azza wa for his mercy. Therefore, my brother and my sister, your time is gold. Your time is gold. By Allah, 
if people knew what's the reality of this time and what the value of this time, if they had the chance to buy it with gold, they'll pay gold for it. So don't think there's something called a waste time here and waste time there. There's no such thing called there's no such thing called a time which in which you do not benefit from. This time you either benefit from it or you do not benefit from it. As an Imam Shafi'i says, Al Waktu Kasaif. Either Alam Taqtahu Kataak. Time is like a sharp blade. If you do not cut it, it will cut you. This is the time. So it's either you are benefiting from this time or you are getting harmed from this time. You're either getting something good or bad from this time. There's nothing called in between. Every minute and every second of your life that goes past, it's either you are benefiting from this time or you are harmed or getting harmed from this time. That's why my brother and my sister, do not waste your time. Your time is your life. Your time is your religion. Your time is the paradise. Your time is the way to the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. Do not waste your time like those who waste their time. How many people wasted their time and wasted so much time of their life and now they reach to the stage where they wish they could bring that time back and utilize that time for something that would have benefited them when they grew up, or something at least to face Allah Azza wa Jal with. If you had the chance to meet the dead, if you had the chance to meet the dead, the dead will say to you, I wish if Allah will give me one minute to come into this dunya, in this world, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness. This is what the dead wishes for. This is what the dead wishes for. This is what the dead will wish and willing to do anything just for a minute that you have in your hands. So your time, your time, these hours, these days, these weeks, these months, these years that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had written for you, utilize them. Utilize them for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not waste your time, my brother and my sister. Do not waste your time. Why do you waste your time when this time is worth gold? Do not waste a second of your life. Utilize it to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, to know more better of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to read the Quran al-Kareem, to remember Allah Azza wa Jal, to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to call to Allah Azza wa Jal, let every single second of your life be utilized to the pleasure of Allah. They say that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala, and when some of them used to enter, when some of them used to go to the toilet, they used to put a rock in their mouth, so they, so they could stop themselves from remembering Allah Azza wa Jal, because their tongue was always, their tongue was always in the state of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't want to waste a second of their life. They don't want to stand in front of Allah azza wa jal in the hereafter. And there is one minute in their life that was not uh, used for the pleasure of Allah or the remembrance of Allah. So my brother and my sister, do not waste your time. Do not waste your time. Utilize it and continue utilizing it for the pleasure of Allah. This world is an hour. Use it for the worship of Allah. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. نستغفرك ونتوب إليك